In this video, I will make the ultimate and complete guide about modern warships for beginners and also for all the players that want to learn something new today. So I strongly recommend you to stay until the end of this video, because if you're a new player, this will help you to get through the game, and if you're an old player, you will learn something new today. Okay guys, so first of all, we always start with this ship, this is USS Hurricane, okay? So I highly recommend you to get Krigolok, which is the fastest uh, tier 1 ship, and it will be a great advantage to be faster than your enemies. So the bad problem about this ship is that the durability of this ship it's only 36,000 compared to other, for example this one is 55,000 so there are a lot of good ships, you can try whatever you want but if you want my recommendation I will recommend you to get CN Type 022 or Krigolok, those are good ships and then finally remember, ok so you will have to play until level 5, in level 5 you will be able to reach tier 2 and also buy incredible warships like these ones and also the aircraft carriers. Okay, so this is RF Der Skid, it's a good warship, I really like it a lot. And also you have the helicopters. Okay, so the basic armament of these warships are um, missiles, cannons, torpedoes and air defense. Remember that you can customize everything that you have on the warship, so you can change the missiles if you want, you can buy another one in the store and also change it for a better missile. The same goes for can cannons, you can buy it here in the store you go to, oh, not here, sorry. Okay, so you go back here, you go to the equipment shop, and in the shop you will be able to buy every single kind of missile there. Same goes for cannons. Cannons are good for fighting with long distances. Remember that when you use uh, missiles, the missiles can be affected by the flares. If the enemy use flares or deploy flares, if the enemy use flares, your missiles will be useless against them. So it's something that you have to be really aware of. Okay, so also you have auto cannons with, which work automatically, so you won't have to do uh, much effort and this will help you to uh, get some kills without doing nothing and it can cause a great damage. Uh, the tier 3 and epic uh, auto cannons like this one for example or even these ones, these are really powerful. Okay, so then we go to the air defense so you can find a lot of air defense for tier 2 and also for the tier 3 uh, equipment. Yes, you have a lot. There's a wide variety of this type of air defense, including this one. You will be able to get lasers air defense, just you can buy it with gold and also with art coin. So now with the grenade launchers. Okay, so something important about the grenade launchers is that you can use it against ships that are located far away from you and you can also shoot submarines that are underwater so some of these grenade launchers works underwater when you shoot them but other other type of grenade launchers doesn't work in underwater okay so we also have the torpedoes torpedoes we have a wide variety of torpedoes too i highly recommend you for tier 2 um, this one that's what I think, that's the best option. <laughs> I'm not sure, I don't remember because I'm really focused on tier 3 since the type of games that I play the most right now. Okay, so we got a lot of missiles for tier 3. These are powerful missile uh, torpedoes, remember that it depends, for example. Here you can see that we have two rounds in burst, so we will have two torpedoes when we fire this missile, this one over here. But then if we select this one, we can see that the damage increases to 28,000. But the burst the burst is only one round. Okay, so there's only one round in the burst. So it changes um, it it is kind of a significant change because for example, if you miss with one torpedo here, you have the option to get uh, the hit with another torpedo, but with if you miss with this one, you have no opportunity to get another kill. Okay, finally, and not less important, we have uh, the helicopters. We got a lot of helicopters too. We got the SV-22 Osprey for tier 2, and also this one that are uh, tier 1 helicopters. These are uh, helicopters that you can use for destroy other warships. 
there's a lot of Russians, Americans and even Chinese helicopters, this is the legendary helicopters and the fighters that you will be able to use only in aircraft carriers. You can buy some aircraft carriers in the store and also you can buy it in the battle passes. Okay, so here we have the strike fighters, we have a lot of strike fighters here, we had F-14, okay, some drones for tier 3, this is the only drone available for tier 2 which is MQ-9 Reaper and the bombers okay so let's go to my inventory to show you the bombers that are in the game right now so we, we got V1 bomber we got dark star bomber and these Russian bombers these both Russian bombers is, are really powerful this uh, Chinese bomber is really nice it's my favorite right now so okay so I forgot to tell you about this so if in your inventory here you can sell your items for example I have uh, two A10 so if I want to buy uh, to sell this one I can actually do it okay so I can sell my A10 if I, if I have for example here I have three whoa one two three four four F14 Tomcat okay so I can actually sell those jets to get more gold Okay, so these are some of the, fi uh, the strike fighters that are in the game. Okay, and the bombers I was showing you this one. So okay, so we got back that and another Chinese bomber, Xi'an H20. Okay, so we have four types of currency in the game. One is gold. The second one is dollars. Then we have the platinum and the art coins. Dollars are the most basic uh, currency of the game that's the currency that you get every time you play a battle in the game you will receive a considerable amount of dollars and remember that if you get the premium account for example I have active 26 days you will receive 50% more uh, dollars and 50% more gold you can get gold by selling some special objects that you will get uh, maybe from devs, you know, devs always, uh, if you go get here to your inbox, they will always, uh, with updates and system messages, they will uh, give you gold sometimes. But you can also, for example, here you can watch an ad and get 30 gold bars, which is kind of um, fair enough, I will say. Uh, so you will be able to see one ad every uh, 30 minutes, if I'm not wrong. And also here you can get the other currency which are the art coins okay so if you click here then you go to the market and here you can buy every single warship that was available in the battle pass same from submarines jets aircraft carriers bombers drones and even other equipment for example mm, this is my inventory this is these are all the equipment that i can sell in the market right now so if you want to buy something you can do it here so the only way to get art coins is by trading the objects from battle passes that's the only way to get it and you can buy it directly from the store so you can also buy dollars from the store and also you can buy gold from the store okay so with gold you can buy some important warships in the game like Yamato and USS Missouri which will be like the some of the best battleships of the game okay so you can get USS Missouri with gold the same goes for Yamato you can get it with gold bars like I did but then if you want the RF Moscow class or Yamato Aegis you will have to get some art coins in order to buy this kind of worship okay about the settings configuration uh, it depends on your device for example right now I'm playing in my computer which is a gaming PC is not a high specs machine but it can actually run a wide variety of game without any problem like this one but I use the graphics quality in ultra the water quality in low and the FPS in 120 I have turned on the post processing and same goes from dynamic light sources safe area okay so these are like basic controls 
okay so here you got the controls you can change the control type for aircraft carriers and and when you're flying so if you pick ace combat it will have a more professional and more realistic way to fly in the, the jets and aircade you will have uh, some kind of control assist that's how you should call it there are also clans in the game so for example this is my clan id if you want to join my clan you can actually do it this is the id so you can actually send the request and i will accept you if you want my recommendation about which ship should you buy in tier 2 i would say you can go with let me think for a bit okay for example this ship over here you can buy it with gold and what happens when you buy some ships with gold is that you will receive 20% more dollars and 20% more gold this is only with these kind of ships that you can buy with gold for example this is a normal ship and you don't have that benefits but then if you have this one and then you have premium account like me the rewards that you will get will be like increased a lot truly recommend you to buy for example this one which is a German warship is really powerful okay so it's equipped with Tomahawk missiles, Malara Rapid Cannon, Mark Torpedo Launcher and Superlinks Helicopter it's not a bad idea it's nice so this is another gold ship it's pretty fast and you can also equip the ship with two helicopters remember that the, the most important thing about helicopters is that you can open the map with it for example when you spawn in the map you don't have like the initial view of your enemy's position so with the helicopters you can fly towards your enemy and then the target will be visible on the minimap so it will be easier to get more kills okay so USS Kid is another good warship okay so this one is one of my favorite personally I recommend you this one because this is I will say this one is the best warship to grind in tier 2 because it has two missiles slot also a cannon and has two auto cannons and air defense you can also equip a good helicopter like I did I got SUV-22 Osprey it's a nice helicopter so this warship will help you to increase your levels fast so if you want a way to reach uh, tier 3 in a faster way I strongly recommend you to play offline battles with bots it's the best and the fastest way to do it because you will receive like the more rewards and you will play like more battles than and faster you know that that's faster than playing online battles for every single day okay so finally we get to aircraft carriers so this one is a good recommendation but USS Nimitz is a good aircraft carrier but the problem with this aircraft carrier is that this aircraft carrier don't have any type of um, defense systems besides the air defense and auto cannons for example there are other uh, aircraft carriers like this one Chinese CN type 075 that have the strike fighter helicopters we have all the equipment but also we have a missile battery and also a grenade launcher that will help us if for example all our jets or helicopters get destroyed we will have a some kind of way to defend ourselves and try to destroy other enemy warships okay guys so I will say this one is one of the best options for aircraft carriers in tier 2 the problem with this one is that you only have a slot for strike fighters so you won't have a slot for fighters for example here in USS Nimitz you have your strike fighters normally so if you if you want to add a fighter for example tier 2 like this one t4 f18 hornet or another one it won't be possible to do it in this other aircraft carrier okay so we also have this one this is another good option because this uh, Kavur aircraft carrier has a missile battery and also a cannon it also has a strike fighter and a fighter too we got a helicopter and all the equipment complete remember that you can change everything that you're watching right now okay so about HMS Queen Elizabeth it's, it's pretty nice it has the only drone that is equipped in tier 2 
and uh, okay so this is not the remember that this is not the original equipment i changed a lot of things here okay so remember that you can also add flags to your warships and you can also add some incredible camos so i will show you other camos that are even better than this one so these are just uh, basic camos nothing special okay so then we arrive to the submarines if you really want a good submarine i would recommend you to play with rf kursk this is my favorite and i think the best option for you and this is the best possible build right now that you can also equip to this submarine right now we have the new missile nuclear missile for tier 2 that you can use it under water also we have some torpedoes these are the best torpedoes for tier 2 and that's my recommendation for submarines for example do we have this one but you need this legendary status so if you want to get legendary status you will have to win a tournament so remember that there are two status in this game two important status legendary and hero the only way to get it is by winning tournaments and you can buy those uh, this type of ships with platinum so platinum is only this is the other type of currency that I forgot to mention this is the this currency will only be available to get legendary warships like this one okay so there are another type of submarines like this one we got CN type 092 it's nice okay so this is a good option but this is 6000 gold bars this is the RF Loon project it's a nice a cranoplane that's the name <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it really good but it's a good missile spammer and it's the fastest warship if you should call it in that way the fastest warship of the game okay so it can reach a speed of 55 knots it's really really fast and with all of that we are finishing our review for the tier 2 okay so now for the tier 3 we got a lot of incredible warships this is uh, uh, this is Admiral Gorshkov this is a warship that you can only get buying it in the market so you got another one for example this one Mogami is the current warship that you can get in the battle pass so remember that there's a battle pass in the game like every other game you got a battle pass so these are the free rewards that you will get completing the battle pass the green ones and the blue ones are the premium rewards that you will get after buying the premium pass but then if you want to get some exclusive rewards you will have to buy the VIP pass that will give you four instant VIP rewards and takes you to stage eight. Okay, for example, if you buy it right now, you will get a unique bomber. This is SDV one. This is a nice bomber, sixth generation Japanese strategic bomber. You can also have F-15, another Japanese fighter, and this one F-7, a new Japanese strike fighter, and you can also receive. 100 art coins the currency that you can use to buy other ships in the market with other players okay so then if you complete all the missions you can get at the end for free these incredible rewards and also gs mogami that's nice okay so this is another warship that you can get with gold this is uss sunwald these are ships that you can only get with uh, the art coins this one is the gold worship okay so for tier 3 I would recommend you to get a basic worship you can also get this one USS Port Royal or USS Vela Golf but I will say that the best option for you will be this one RF Baryak uh, by the way this is not the original equipment of the worship of course I changed it but you can make a decent build with dollars that's that's fair enough to say and this is not the original helicopter of the warship I also changed it this is a premium helicopter okay 
so you can find incredible warships like this one this is Massachusetts this is another gold warship and really powerful this is not the original equipment too I changed it this is a Russian helicopter okay this is really powerful too Admiral Nakimov is another good option for tier 3 beginners you can also buy USS Missouri with gold and the powerful Yamato so all the components of Yamato are fixed so you cannot change it anything this is the only warship that is not that you cannot change any part of it finally we reach the tier 3 aircraft carriers here I will recommend you to get a um, better aircraft carrier than this I would say that the best options are for example this one is something that you can reach at level 15 and the is really cheap compared to other aircraft carriers it's only 16 million dollars that will cost you this and it has a nice equipment you know everything is Russian all the equipment that you can find here the missiles the grenade launcher the strike fighter the drone and also the helicopter so it's a nice option this is a gold aircraft carrier this 12,000 gold bars it's a Chinese aircraft carrier but there's another one that I will show you at the end of the video that is even better than this one okay so then we got all of this remember that most of these aircraft carriers you can find it on the market okay and the best option for submarines will be USS Ohio that's my opinion that's what you can get if you want to sp th that's the, the point it could be the best for you or it cannot be it depends on which use would you like to apply for example if you want a missile spammer this is the best option because you will have one two three four five missiles batteries to fire underwater or uh, at any circumstance and also you will have uh, two torpedoes you can equ equip whatever you want here but then if what you want is uh, some kind of uh, torpedo spammer you can get this one which is CN type 096 it's a nice torpedo spammer and you can also have uh, some good uh, missile batteries too okay so this is, a, this is a gold submarine this is CN type 100 it's pretty nice too we have a lot of uh, missiles there that can be equipped to the warship finally I will show you what I think is the best warship or not, not the best I will say it's, it's just my favorite this is an aircraft carrier that you can get with gold so basically when you can get it you can buy it for 20,000 gold bars that's what I think and I don't know if I'm wrong okay so you can actually add a different sets of equipment this is right now what I have equipped it's a uh, really nice I would say everything is premium okay so not the bomber the bomber you can buy it with dollars in the store but everything else is uh, premium equipment I would say okay so we got a lot of drones here okay guys about the gameplay I want to show you something okay so let's play because this is a guide for beginners let me use this warship during the battle remember that the first thing that you have to do is to deploy your helicopter once you deploy your helicopter you will have to go towards the enemy position in order to open the map okay so this helicopter is kind of slow <laughs> So it will take me a while to detect the enemy. Right now we are playing a offline battle. Remember that you can play this game both online and offline. Okay, so I think we have to get closer in order to attack that enemy warship. Let's try to get closer. Now we are attacking it. I think we can destroy it. We have to destroy this warship. Okay, so it was destroyed. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to the warship view. Okay. okay, so there's some missile, enemy missile coming, so we deploy some flares and we avoid that attack. So that's how to avoid enemy attacks. Now 
let's bomb some missiles over there. Okay, so we're about to hit that. I think we did it. Okay, so let's try to destroy this warship over there. Okay, so he was destroyed. Nice. Okay, so I think we should focus on that one. Okay, so let's go for this one. Okay, so it was destroyed. Now let's go for this one. One of the most important things about this game is to find a good position and a good order. If this map is difficult to get it because this map is like uh, really wide open, so you won't have the option to hide behind any obstacles. Just there are just like two obstacles in all the map. But when you're playing like tier two battles or tier three, that's uh, an important role. Okay guys, so if you find this tutorial helpful, just remember to like and subscribe to my channel so you will find more guides and tutorials to play modern warships and other war games.